go to Photoshop, of course, open up Photoshop here, and when I go to create new, uh, and this new tab that opens up here, when I go to uh, to the specification, make sure the width is 1080 and the height is 1080 and it's in pixels, not in inches or centimeters. Okay, when you're done with that, you can name this, I don't know, Insta Post uh, template. It really depends on you. Uh, just say Insta Post template. Simple as that. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay, Insta Post template. And you can even go down here and you save it as a document preset. So let me just say Insta Post. You know, Insta Post. Okay, so it's gonna be saved so that you can always access it anytime that you want. I'll uh, leave the resolution to 72 inches or pixel per inch, and yeah, that's fine. Make sure the color is black, uh, the color of your background is black, and 8 bit is really fine. And uh, unfortunately, you can't change that. When you're done with that, just press create. Okay, so you have your canvas here. So I wanna go on and unlock that unlock this layer and rename it by renaming it just select the layer and double click and you can rename it so i'm just gonna say i'm just gonna call it a uh, background black background so you guys can really identify what i was talking about black back background Okay, when you're done writing, just press enter and boom, it's named. Okay, so we have created our background. What you want to do first is bring in our subject. So I want to go to file and open. And let me just grab any subject here that I find interesting. So I use this lady here. So I'm just going to create the uh, using, just going to import her. Okay, after that image is imported, I want you to go and the move tool or you can just press V and then you have it and then just just grab this layer and move it to this uh, layer and just release okay it's just as simple as that just grab it and then you move it to the layer and then release just like that so what we want to do is you see it's now a lot uh, so so much big so we want to resize it back to fit within our canvas well how how are we going to do that we're going to zoom out and to zoom out you just have to press the alt key or uh, the option key on if you're on the mac and then you scroll down the wheel on your mouse press down the alt key and scroll down so you can have a clear view of what you're doing and then you can just grab the handles here and press down the old key still and then you you drag down and then zoom out by just doing the opposite rolling up so we don't want this second image so I'm just gonna keep this well I'm just gonna go to this layer and delete it cause it's just a copy of the other one so let me just go and press backspace and boom it's gone so we are staying with this one and we wanna just continue on resizing her fit within our canvas so we're just gonna press down the old key still again and zoom a little bit frame her to fit within our canvas and okay you can also press shift you can when you press shift you can easily uh, move move the subject in any angle without with altering its its kind of stuff okay so i'm really satisfied with the position when you're satisfied with the position just press out okay and what we're gonna do for next is create a rectangle shadow so go on to your toolbar and let me just remove these tools because they're kind of distracting i'll go to the toolbar and grab the rectangle tool okay it's just there if it opens up in any of these other tra uh, other uh, options here please make sure that you are in the rectangle tool okay after selecting that go and and drag across all our canvas okay and when you're done just release 
and boom you have created a triangle you can go on and rename it so i'm just gonna rename it as rectangle shadow the reason to do this is just to create something that kind of brings in you can even play with the vignette or vignette or any other kind of format that you want to have so i'm really uh, just satisfied with that I'm just gonna rename it and when I'm done I just press enter and what you want to do is go to the opacity and bring it a little bit down I use point I think I use around 14 14 is really fine and you can go on also and play around with the fill if you want to bring it a little bit down it really depends on you but I'm just gonna leave it at around 45 we want to go on and rename this layer as subject so you guys can easily get to know what the layer really means never leave a layer when it's not named okay what we want to do next is go on and create a back shadow a back shadow layer back shadow layer is going to be uh, something that kind of gives us freedom to write anything uh, just on the lower part of our subject so we have we have placed that this subject uh, this photo it's kind of much within our canvas we just want to go to create to our our rectangle tool again and we want to create a rectangle around here around this place here just this lower part okay when you're done just release and boom it's there what i want to do is also rename it i'm, I'm just going to rename it i'm just going to say uh, this is rectangle shadow back shadow uh, back shadow back shadow one so let me just say back shadow one and we want to copy this i mean do so what you want to do to duplicate a layer you just have to press down the alt key select the layer press down the alt key and be like dragging the layer up so it's already copied then you can go on and rename it so I'm just gonna rename this as 2 I can go back to and grab my move tool and move it a little bit up so around around there okay that space is really enough for me to type anything that I want so we want to have something that's not really so much a regular having showing the lines and all that stuff we just want to have something a little bit artistic so when I go and grab our eraser tool and make sure that your layer is selected that you want to apply the effect to you just press anywhere it's going to rasterize the shape for you and you can zoom in you can zoom in a little bit so you can have clear view of what you're doing you can also press down the space bar the space bar and just, just move the image to whichever position you want just in case you have over zoomed in so like around here you can just press and move the, the image in whichever place that you really want okay as simple as that okay I'm just gonna go on and delete some stuff here kind of erase some stuff and remember guys all this erosion is just occurring on this back shadow layer not on the image not on the image itself i'm just gonna go on and create 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 take time take time take time take time take time so for you it's gonna be a little bit uh i don't know faster than me it really depends I'm just kind of distorting almost everything i don't really have any clear clear uh, design that I'm really following I'm just really distorting to make sure these lines really go away so I don't really want them here
Okay, so when you're satisfied with that, okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. I just want to go on and create uh, now text. We want to create text. How are we going to do that? Well, it's easy. Let's just go to the type tool and grab our text. So just go down to your toolbar and grab the type tool or uh, the text tool. I don't know <laughs> whichever name we really want to give it. So I just want to zoom in, zoom in a little bit and specify the color of my text. I'm just going to give it white. Okay. So let's go on and type in something. Um, uh, let's say hard work pace. Hard hard work pace you got it right you got it right huh you got it right you know yeah that's that's very really nice that's nice for me and so this is your text that you have already uh, put in let me just move this layer a little bit far Okay, you can go on and rename this and say, so I'm just going to say main text, main text, so I can easily identify it from any other text that I might be having. Okay, I am going to duplicate this and I want to move the duplicate down. With this selected, I'm just going to rename it as author. So let me just say it's gonna be author you also want to promote your your instagram account but when someone sees the image can easily know who made it and how they made it and all that stuff so when they go to your instagram account they can easily know uh, who made it and then start following you and you know that's what you want well i am not satisfied this is not really centered okay and double click in that and just type in ig I give for Instagram a bit down in 22 because that guys that's my account at a bit down in 22 so I'm pretty satisfied with that guys I didn't really talk about uh, the typography but you can go on and play around with the typography by just going to the character window just in case you don't have just go to windows and go to character and you have it I'm just gonna go go again so when you have this selected go on to your layer select it play around with the font style the font uh, I always go on with Berlin Sans FP because it's the one I use for my Instagram account but you can choose any that you really feel is comfortable for I'm just gonna increase the size a little bit by just dragging this guy over here so I can match it within my, my, my canvas and also just press out and also go on and decrease the size of Instagram account name the author okay that's fine well sometimes the font really doesn't work for you for specific reasons but I'm just gonna uh, could be I don't know let me just keep it <laughs> let me just keep it it even it's even kind of you know artistic to have something that's not really common so when you are done with that you can select it and change the color I prefer going on with uh, something around this I don't know yeah I'll go on with this kind of code and I'll put it in the link just in case you want to have the same as mine so when you're done just press ok I'll keep this in white I'm really satisfied with that so hard work page you got it right you can go on and also add different stuff within your main text so let me go to main text and go to effects by going to this uh, button down here and blending options and here you can go crazy guys with anything that you really want to have you can play around with the opacity and all that stuff you can play around with uh, the style darken light and all, all of this this style I really prefer normal and I want to go to gradient overlay and with gradient overlay you can play around with the opacity and all that stuff well I did some changes here but you can go on with a blend mode like dissolve and then uh, change 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 the scale whichever scale you really want to have I don't know it just really depends on you and you can go on and change um, uh, 
the angle, the angle of your gradient. I don't know, it really just depends on you. And yeah, I'm really satisfied with that. And I also go to inner shadow. I think inner shadow is where I got this kind of effect here. Uh, I think it's in noise. I think you just increase noise. When you have too much noise, was it in noise? I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. I think it's in chalk. Chalk. Yeah. Chalk. Increase it, it becomes really hard. Bring it down, it just kind of. So you can just play around with any um, any style that you really want to have, but I'm really satisfied with that, and I'll just press OK. OK. Uh, you can also go on and add a stroke. So let me go to stroke straight here, and you can just choose the color that you really want and play around with the size of your stroke. You want it really big or a little bit small just really depends on you um, I'm really satisfied with that I'll just leave it like that just for fun you know <laughs> just for fun I don't really have any clear reason why I'm making that play around with the opacity and all that stuff when you're done just press ok you can also just do the same things with 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 the other layer so main, let, let me just close the main and go to the author and still go to the effects and blending options and you still have the same effects well i don't want to have i don't want to have uh, the blending options just like the other one had i just want to go to stroke and i want it white i'm uh, sorry black and i want it um uh, the position i think it's gonna be uh, outside yeah i think outside is better and the size you can really play around with size. I'm just gonna bring it really down uh, to make sure that I have everything really clear and showing up really in the best format. When you're done, just press OK, and boom, there you have you have your post ready to be uploaded. You can go on and group your layers. Let me click out and show you how you can do that. Just select the main text and go to uh, the other the other layer that you wanna have. So uh, in my case, I'm just going to select the author by pressing down the shift key and selecting and then go down to where they say create a new group and then group that. And you can go on and rename that. I'm just going to say uh, text and effects. Okay, so you can easily open up your group by just pressing down that open. So you just have to save it. Just have to save this. Uh, by pressing by saving you can just go straight to file and save as or you can use this shortcut which is shift plus control plus ace so i'm just gonna use the shortcuts shift plus control plus ace and then i have it i can just go on rename it uh, already named uh, insta post one so i'm just gonna say insta post two and guys make sure it's a photoshop psd format and make sure your layers are turned on so you can save your layers and also the icc profile which will save the colors that you really used so choose any location that you really want so for mine i'm just gonna save it here and press save how you can easily now edit your stuff so let me just close it and go on and open it insta post 2 okay so it's here we we have it so you can just go on and let me say let me just go on and import just go on and import any image and then fit within your 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 template that you already created so let me go on and create uh, import any image guy coming in okay so you just have after importing in your image you just have to go to sorry you just have to go to uh, sometimes they will ask you to, to convert the layer to normal but I don't really want that just go to the move key the move tool sorry and just drag hold and drag the, the image to another layer to the template layer that you want and release so when you have that you can just remember how, how we did it you just press down the alt key and zoom out and you can also go on and and move it uh, to whichever position that you really want by just dragging it 
and putting it in there so you can turn off this and just keep only that layer and then you can go on and double click and write in different words and all the colors and all that stuff it's really good practice to have just a single a brand a single brand design that you can always use for every post every post every post but don't forget to be creative to find out new ways of how you can make it even better so yeah when you're done just press down uh, ctrl shift s and save your image as a jpeg and then choose the location and then you know you have it five i'm just gonna save it as five and in whichever position that i really want here and boom i have it so thanks guys thanks for watching i really appreciate the time that you have given me to to watch this video uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and follow me on instagram for more posts uh, that talk about inspiration and all business as on motivation and life and how we can be successful in this life so thank you so much uh, for now bye bye